So we have the thermoelectric cooling machine up and running. We are in the BIOS right now. And since I'm in the BIOS, let's create a RAID array. Kingston sent me three, well actually a number of their PCI Gen 4.0 Renegade NVMe drives that do like 7,300 megs per second read speeds individually, but let's put them all in RAID 0. So they're two terabytes each, so we're gonna have a six terabyte RAID 0 system. Every motherboard is going to be slightly different for how you set up a RAID, so make sure you read your manual. And this is the MSI MPG Z790 Creator Wi-Fi. And here what you do, you go into your settings for your BIOS, and there's going to be a section for RAID. You can name it whatever you want. I'm calling it Poetic Zero. RAID level is going to be RAID Zero, or Stripes. And then you highlight each and every drive you want. So these are Kingston Fury 2 terabyte drives, you can see there. And you just put a, well it's a space bar, but it X's them out. You can change your default stripe size, but just leave it as 64 kilobytes, unless you know what you're doing. So it's showing here, six gigabytes right there. And then we're gonna go down to create volume, enter, boom, six terabytes. I said gigabytes before, but yeah, terabytes, there you go. And then you can check the volume. So we have the RAID name here. It's RAID zero as well. Stripe size, size 5.4 terabytes, six terabytes basically. Status is normal, that's what we want, right? And it is bootable, that's very, very important. Now these are all on the same, uh, long story short, uh, the top one here is PCI Gen 5.0 and the one below it is actually uh, PCI Gen 4.0 and both of those are gonna be toward the CPU. There's three right here and those are gonna be on the chipset. So all three of these are actually on the chipset, so that's gonna make the RAID nice and efficient. Several benefits to using RAID 0. One, a lot faster. Two, instead of having three two terabyte drives in my system, now I'm just gonna show as one six terabyte drive, which is so nice and convenient. Now, if one drive fails, all that data is gone, you have to rebuild the array, everything is lost. That's why you want to actually make sure you have a backup or also redundancy. Remember, those are two different things. So I do have a NAS, like a six, eight terabyte hard drive NAS over there. It's all water-cooled, of course. And uh, so basically in this system, it's gonna be games, you know, some workload stuff, but that's all gonna be on the NAS anyway. And then I do my backups as well, which are separate drives in another location. So there you go. The more you know, and knowing is half the battle.